Hey guys, in this video we're going to tie the box knot keychain. I have done a tutorial on the box knot and you will be able to find it in the description of the video. But in this video we're going to tie the actual keychain. Now, what you're going to need for this project is two pieces of paracord as well as a key ring. First thing we're going to do is we're going to cross our cords like we did in the, the tutorial. And then we're going to fold the bottom cord over the top one on both ends, like this. Then we're going to weave the other cord through over under with one end and then with the other end as well going again over and then under like this we will now tighten the knot by pulling on each of the cords and this gives us the first box knot we can then continue the second one by again folding the cords over it and then weaving the side cords over under with one cord end and then with the other cord end we go again over and then under like this. And then we tighten this knot up. All we're going to do until we get our length is we're going to keep making these knots and I will be back with the rest of the tutorial in a second. Okay, I'm back and I've made the sufficient length of the keychain that I want and at this point you can simply cut off the ends and meld them and that will give you the finished keychain. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish it using a lanyard knot, which I prefer because it makes it a lot more, more uh, durable. But before I am going to pull these uh, ends to tighten the not, I'm also going to insert the other two ends through the middle loop, which will give me four cords coming out of the knot instead of just the basic two from the lanyard knot. And at this point I'll be back when the knot is tightened. Okay, I've tightened the knot and as you can see it looks great. You would now cut these ends at the bottom and you would have a little flush coming out of it or you could cut it near the end. You can also insert a key ring at this point and you are done. Okay. 